Hi everyone and welcome back to my YouTube channel. On my channel I show you videos about Dubai, traveling, watches and all other interesting products that I buy and love. So if you like my channel and videos, please leave me a comment and subscribe to my channel. In this video I want to show you a full detailed unboxing of the Submariner Date Reference 116610LN. I will show you everything that comes with the watch, give you an insight into the paperwork and of course show you the watch and its features in detail. Lean back, take a coffee and enjoy the video. As you know, I bought the watch on my last business trip from Dubai to Johannesburg. I picked it up at the airport after having a nice chat with an employee of the Rolex store. To answer some of your questions I received to the last video. I already bought a watch at that store. I paid after all taxes and fees around 9200 US dollar. Some of the stickers had to be removed due to an instruction by Rolex. I haven't imported the watch to Germany and I like my Timberland shoes so much that I actually wear them all the time. If you haven't checked out that video, I will put you a link into the description so you can easily find it. The Rolex Submarina is the second Rolex in my collection and will now be accompanying my Rolex Explorer. So let's start with the unboxing and the full Rolex Submarina experience. Here we have the usual white cardboard box protector that also tells you the size of the box you receive. What I learned from your comments is that it doesn't mean male or female. Rolex names their boxes S, M, L and XL, what stands for small, medium, large and extra large box. So for every model they have the correct sized box. If you buy a precious metal one you will get a bigger box in case that matters for you. Under the first card paper card protector we find another cream colored cardboard box. Inside you see a foaming protector and find a beautiful green Rolex box. Here I need to tell you a few of my thoughts. I am think I am not a huge fan of super big boxes and tons of accessories that come with a watch. A good example would be the Moonwatch by Omega. There you get a super huge box, you often get tons of accessories, but I prefer having a simple, small and elegant box that can store everything inside and will never bother you. I would say the small green Rolex box is definitely more than enough. Let's open the box. Inside we find a Rolex certificate that your Rolex is a superlative COSC certified chronometer. The white tag shows the recommended retail price, reference number and serial number. Then we have a compartment with your manual, guarantee card and guarantee manual. I will show you both manuals, so in case you want to read something, just pause the video. On the watch we have the bezel protector. Before checking out the watch, some notes guys. The sales employee first resisted to give me the white tag and bezel protector with the watch. You should always try to get everything 
even those small little things when you buy a Rolex watch. This will definitely increase the value of the watch in case you want to sell it someday. The only thing the authorized dealer won't give you with your watch is the transparent transportation case that you may have seen before. Those are not supposed to be given out by dealers and in fact it is strictly forbidden to them. And here we go with the watch. Isn't it beautiful? The ceramic bezel. The high contrast between black and white just pops. The sharp edges of the bezel. The pearl at the top. Perfectly sized crown guards. This is a design that was perfected over decades and is recognized worldwide. In fact, I think this is the most iconic design of all watches. We have a black dial with white markers and white gold hands. This gives you an incredible good legibility even underwater. Our markers are in simple shapes, triangles, circles and rectangles. This prevents any risk of confusion while you're diving, swimming with your watch or also if you're just wearing it for casual occasions. A unidirectional, rotatable, 60 minute graduated scratch resistant ceramic bezel with numerals and graduations that are coated in platinum. The reference 116610LN has a 40mm case, a monoblock middle case, screw down case back and a winding crown. Inside the watch we have a perpetual mechanical self-winding movement called Calibre 3135, manufactured in-house by Rolex that has a precision of minus 2 to plus 2 seconds a day. It tells you the time and the date with center hour, minute and second hands and the date with a rapid setting. The second hand is also hackable for accurate time setting. The movement is a bi-directional self-winding movement with 48 hours of power reserve. This means after winding it to full power the watch will work for two full days without wearing it. The watch is made of, out of the famous oyster steel that is highly resistant to corrosion. This steel is developed for the brand and belongs to the 904L steel family. Those steels are used in industries that require high corrosion resistance. A screw down triple waterproofness system winding crown indicated by three dots that stands for trip lock. A scratch resistant sapphire crystal glass with a cyclops lens over the date on top.
On the inside of the watch, you can see the laser engraving of the Rolex logo, which goes all around of the interior of the watch. The watch comes with the Oyster bracelet, which is famous for the form and function. The bracelet wears very comfortably, has a matte brushed metal finish, which helps to hide scratches, and comes with a safety folding clasp and a glide lock adjustment. With this, it can be worn over a swimsuit or extended in case of hot temperatures around you. So let me show you how it looks on the wrist. The band is not yet fitted, as all shops are closed since I bought it. I will show you the fitted watch when our situation is back to normal. I am also thinking about getting a black rubber strap for it. So in case you have good advice, especially one with a folding clasp, leave me a comment. I think this version of the sub is amazing. It is broader, wider, sharp lines and has a very bold look to what fits well to a diver's watch. Still, it is not too big for my small wrist and it looks very thin for a diver's watch. The bulletproof case, the ceramic bezel and the cyclops give it a very mean look. First, I was more of a fan of the no-date sub, but my opinion changed and I think the Cyclops is a design feature you should not miss. It gives the watch this very interesting, never boring looking aesthetic. I guess with the no date you will miss that feature after some time. So guys, that's it for now, I hope you enjoyed the video, let me know your feedback, drop me a comment and hopefully see you in the next video. Stay safe everyone and bye bye.